Okay, in this video lesson, what we're going to do is focus on creating the inverse chain of helpers. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little parenting, we're going to make our hierarchies, grouping, and some renaming. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's about it, yeah. Uh, this is going to serve really as the backbone for our reverse foot system. Uh, for those of you who've been, who maybe perhaps constructed a reverse foot rig in another application, uh, these can be any object you like as long as they're in a hierarchy. Uh, in some applications, such as Maya, they're often joint chains. Right. So let's go ahead and get started. Now uh, we are starting with just a, a basic Mia that we yeah. plug in from the asset browser. Mia has just been added so into our scene. So whatever character you've created, I mean, you should be able to follow right along as long as you're using the same default motion builder biped rig. Right, and even if you're uh, if you're using something relatively close, you'll probably be able to interpret this into whatever rig you're using. Absolutely. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by hiding a few things just to kind of clean up my view. First off, uh, we'll hide the FK rig and the IK rig. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to X-ray mode, just so we have an idea of what we can see. Also, for this uh, this foot rig, we're not going to be using floor contacts at all. So let me go ahead and switch all of those off down here in the character settings. And then under show, I'll make sure that floor contact is not visible. Really, all I have left are the joints. Mm -hmm. So, we'll begin by creating some nulls that we're going to parent together to form a hierarchy. And again, that's going to form the basis for our reverse foot system. <coughs> Under my elements, I'll just drag in a null right into the ankle joint, like so. And I'll just begin by renaming this. So we'll Otherwise, you're just going to end up with a ton of nulls. You're not going to know which object controls what. It'll just become a big mess. Exactly. We'll call this left inverse root, because this is going to be the highest level of my hierarchy. So in order to create the next part of my hierarchy, I'm just going to duplicate this one object. So edit, we'll go down to duplicate. And the reason I've duplicated that is that I, w I just want to be able to move this in the same plane as my original object. And I'm just going to put it back here at the heel geometry. So actually, right right where it is, yeah, look out great. just fine. So We'll leave it right there, and then I'll right-click here inside the navigator, and we'll rename this to Inverse Heel. Now we're ready for the toe, so I'll duplicate this again, and I'll drag this forward. Again, I'm going to align this with the geometry so that we can kind of pivot up from the actual location of her shoe instead of from the location of the, uh, the joint, if you will. Let me slide that up just a little bit. I'm going to get too picky. Actually, if I want to get really picky, this could be slide up a little bit. Okay, that's getting picky. All right, that's too picky. All right, so anyways, now that we've got that, we'll switch over to the uh, the duplicated object we just made. We'll rename this to left inverse toe. Now, we've only got a couple more of these to build, and I'll just drag these in. So right here to the uh, the ball joint, if you will. And then we'll rename this. We'll call this left inverse ball. I can type, really, I promise. <laughs> and then we'll drag in one more, which will align right to this, uh, this other null. And we will rename this to left ankle. inverse ankle. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so here are all of the nulls we're going to be using in our left foot chain. Let's go ahead and get these uh, parented into a hierarchy. And if you built them, if you're following along this video, if you build them in the same order that I did, which is root, heel, toe, ball, and ankle, you can just parent them from the bottom up. So all i got to do is grab the ankle, parent into ball, choose parent, inverse ball, drag over to toe, parent, toe, drag over to heel. All right, come on, you can do it. Parent, heel, into root, parent. When I'm done, I'm going to take this root and I'm going to parent it into me as reference so that later on, if I just grab the reference and I move it around, the entire character will come along. Very nice. So with that done, actually I don't need to do that. With that done, I am now ready to create the left foot chain. So I'll do this just a little bit faster. So we have a null. We'll go ahead and drag it in here to the ankle. And I'll right, quit, right click. Right quick. <laughs> Let's rename this. Now I'm on the right foot now. I do know my left from my right. I'm getting better. It says he does, but you know. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. It sounds that. good on video, okay? <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to duplicate this, and I want this to be in the same location on this foot as it is on the opposite foot. So in order to do that, I'll kind of separate this off to the side, but then I'm going to X-drag it over to this opposite heel effector. We'll go to Align or Heel Helper. 
We'll go to uh, align in translation and we'll align this in Y and then I'll repeat the process. Align translation Z. So now they're in the exact same location on each side. And let's go ahead and rename this to right inverse heel. All right. And we'll duplicate this again. And this time I'm just going to align this in uh, in the Z direction. So I'll X drag this up here to the toe. Align translation in X. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Z. Yeah, that's better. I know my I know my axes too. I'm so I'm getting says. a lot better. <laughs> yeah. All right. I know. Sounds good on video. No teasing, Zach. Zach has been good. All right. So there's our, our right inverse toe. Let's just drag one in for the ball. Yep. We'll just drag and drop for the ball. Right click, rename. Very important to stay with your naming convention, especially when rigging. And then we'll drag one in for the ankle and rename. So. right inverse ankle very nice all right once you have this you're ready to create this next hierarchy as well so we'll just drag up to the ball and choose parent we'll drag up to the toe and choose parent up to heel choose parent back up to root and finally up to the reference such a nice workflow so really with that we're almost done let's just test this out make sure our hierarchy is doing what we expect it to if I uh, select the the ball and I rotate up mm. ankles coming along just fine or the ankle, uh, <laughs> the ankle helper, anyways. So if I rotate from the toe, that's exactly what we expect. And if I rotate from the heel, again, just what we expect. So I'll assume that this foot is working out just fine. I would like to go ahead and organize these into groups, though, Good. just so that I can keep everything nice and cleaned up later. So uh, I will draw a quick selection box around these guys, and I'll hold down uh, Control and Shift. Again, I'm using the Maya hotkey system and uh, select all of my inverse helpers that I've created. We'll go over to the Groups tab. I'll click Create. Double click to change the name to Inverse Helpers. So now I have a, a checkbox where I can switch those off whenever I need to if I'm done looking at them. Excellent. So really, with that, that's everything I want to show in this video. At this stage of the game, you've got exactly what you need to build, uh, to build up your rig or go on to the next part anyways. Mm -hmm. So we're ready to start adding our IK, so that's going to do it for this one.